Franklin Electric, and I'm Cody Rogers. I'm Isabella. I'm Graham. Maite. Jonathan. And okay, our problem was fixing electrical or Rabu's electrical <coughs> shop, and his main issues were that he wanted to learn how to install a solar panel, and he needed better ways of branding. We came up with this logo because it is simple and easy to put on billboards and stuff, since most of them are hand painted. Our mission statement was essentially trying to grow his business and advance his business through more technology, but simple enough technology. And essentially to grow his business, we needed a better way to advertise since he only advertised through word of mouth. And it just needed to be something simple, something good, something that would make his business stand out. The solution was that well, we adapted a ton of uh, ideas that we had, but we had to adapt them to the way that um, his situation. So we decided to create a logo and billboard to display in Nigeria, which he said would be affordable and easy and a lot of people would read them. And we would have experienced electricians from here in America to Skype with him and teach him personally, in case he has any questions or anything, how to uh, install solar panels. That was it, okay. Um, we figured out that instead of us trying to give him the directions, because we're teenagers, we don't know anything about solar panels, <laughs> instead, instead of something getting lost in translation or something like that, we would just have him directly Skype with someone in America and it would be so much more efficient than him getting it from us because they could go to the LI office or I mean wherever they could Skype from and get their information directly from him with the translator. So, um, the pros of this uh, way of doing the solar panels is it's a most more personalized experience for Rabu. And if he has questions, most of us aren't qualified to answer some technical <laughs> questions about solar panels. So, someone who's more experienced would be able to answer his questions. And it's fast, easy, and it won't cost him anything. And he's able. To well, yeah, reliable answer. So. Uh, first, we created the logo, taking into consideration what factors play into part in the area. And then we displayed it on a billboard with all the general business information, which would last a long time and everyone can understand it, as opposed to like passing out flyers and stuff, which people really don't read that much there. Uh, the pros of marketing, uh, business becomes more popular. You get more. Even though he does use word of mouth, not everybody talks to each other, and if they do, they don't know everything about his business. I mean, someone can't recite his phone number to everybody else they meet on the street. And with more business becomes profit, in which increases the business, in which he's more to able to build his business more and more over the years. So that's it. Thank you. Okay. Still, still, Lamar's first turn. Okay, uh, you guys actually, you have, you have good ideas, and uh, the ideas I cherish the most is the idea of connection. The connection is more than any other thing, uh, because I know I'm a Nigerian. Yeah, you know, because I'm a Nigerian. Yeah. So um, there we mostly have like clubs. Know what I mean? Yeah, we have people that are not professional. So what they do is like, okay, I think I can do this, so they will just get into it. But by connecting rugby with professionals in the United States, for them to show him how to do it, that's really going to help him a lot and will make his business unique. Because I've seen a lot of people that will come and install some uh, solar panel inverters or whatever in your house but they don't have some technical advice they can give their customers to actually save his money from uh, uh, actually save the gadgets and his money as well. So they will just come up with everything for you and at the end of the day it will last simply because you don't have any direction or any instructions uh, or a guide that will tell you, okay, hey, you don't have to exit to social solid. But for him to get the opportunity to talk to professionals, yeah, it's a giant step for his business. Yeah. But my concerns, yeah, I know. Yeah, don't worry, take it easy. 
Microsoft is, uh, you still have to expand because you have ideas of other stuff like advertising and stuff like that, but you still need to be precise on what would you take for your advertising, right? Like other, a lot of groups, they are uh, elaborating on Facebook, uh, blah, blah, blah. So you just mentioned that you want to do that, but I didn't see anything like, okay, this is what precisely we're going to use for advert or something like that. But you have all the ideas. All I'm saying is expand it and make us understand that, okay, this is what you're going to do and this is what is going to help the business. That makes sense? Yeah. Thank you so much for having that brilliant idea of connection. Connection is good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. So part of being a leader, I think, is being honest and the fact that you were able to be honest with yourselves about the extent of your knowledge base was important in coming up with a solution. Um, as far as with the consultant or, come, or having a consultant over Skype, I think it's a great idea. I'm just curious as to how you would um, keep that free for the business owner. But I think it's a great idea overall. Yeah, one of the biggest parts of this is that you guys are cables. So you're connecting the business owner in the developing world to the modern world in so many different ways and coming up and showing them ideas that they don't have to be brand new ideas. Coconut yogurt isn't a new idea, but it's a great idea. I'm serious. This is a great idea. Like People in the United States, there are nonprofits that do this completely, like 100% set up in poor communities. I guarantee those nonprofits would help you find somebody to talk to right on the ground. So it's a brilliant idea to take something you, you might necessarily know how to do, but giving the expert advice that he needs you know, having a manual is great, but being able to ask those specific questions from an experienced person and then go back to them makes all the difference in the world. So that's just an amazing job. One, just, you know, thinking of it, because obviously not everyone thought of that idea, and then making sure it was possible, going out, reaching out to businesses, seeing that this thing could be achievable. I really appreciate the steps you've taken. I'm very excited to see what Ryan has to say about it on Sunday. So amazing job. Everyone give him a round of applause. Join the Global Young Innovators Initiative. Transform the world. www.icantransformtheworld.org.